The object of all this furor, Roy Innes, had to move from his Regency headquarters hotel last night. We finally caught up with him a block away at the downtown or late this afternoon, and he was quite willing to address the questions raised by his startling revelations yesterday. To his detractors in the civil rights movement, he was blunt. He is a mental defective, uh, a bandit. How can you dignify him and say that he's in the civil rights movement? James Farmer, I would make any comments about out of respect for the years that he has put into the movement. And he continued to stand by his contention that his talk with some of the victim's mothers prompted CORE's involvement in this investigation. It's very possible that the people who told you I didn't speak with them are telling the truth. But maybe I spoke with different mothers. And I'm not about to endanger those mothers by telling you their names. Innes told me he was pleased with his meeting with Atlanta FBI Chief John Glover last night, but he would not say whether he is rescinding his Saturday deadline for an arrest of his suspect. The, the ultimatum should not be the focus at this moment. The focus should be 25 slaughter kids and the fact that there are some leads that are being pursued by uh, the authorities and that we're here and we're available to consult with them uh, and to pass over any new leads that, are, that we uh, get lucky and come up with. Roy Innes has not ducked questions about his motives. He stands by the statements he made yesterday in the face of critical reaction today. The community is asking Roy Innes, in essence, to put up or shut up. And he is saying he will put up. Mark Picard, Action News.